common requirement in financial models is to, is to include an exchange rate. Perhaps you're an importer or an exporter and exchange rates are important to you. Generally speaking, you should try and get a forecast of your exchange rate from a financial institution or bank. But even then, it only has a, it's only, you'll only get one for a few years. So you may need to actually forecast your own exchange rate. A generally accepted way of doing it seems to be the inflation differential method. So just to explain the logic of it and how you would model it. Let's say we're in South Africa, we've got inflation rate of 6%. In the US, we've got inflation of 2%, and the current exchange rate is 7 Rand 30 Rands to $1. Let's say we can buy the exact same item. So perhaps on the iTunes store in the US, we can buy a song for $2.74, but in South Africa, that same song would cost 20 Rand. Because of inflation, in a year's time, these numbers would be different. So I'm just going to work that what that out is. So we're going to say, take that I'm just going to multiply it I've created a factor here for inflation and after 13 months or so that's what that song would probably cost in South Africa let's do the same thing but we'll use the US inflation factor now and we'll see that that same song cost $2.79. Now because we're clever consumers, what we may try and figure out is, okay, let's use $2.79 and multiply it by the exchange rate. And you'll discover that if we bought this song from the US at the exchange rate, if it stayed the same, it would be cheaper to buy it there than to buy it in our home country. So the logic of inflation differential is then everyone recognizes this, everyone starts buying from the US. As more and more rands leave the country, the exchange rate has to weaken. So what would the exchange rate weaken to? Well, it would weaken to the amount, in which case we no longer care whether we buy it from the US or at home. And that number would be whatever that is divided by this. And you'll see it's 758. So if the exchange rate went to 758, we wouldn't really care from a price perspective where we bought it from. And we'll probably buy it at home, so at least we've got someone to phone if there's a problem. So you can do that calculation. You can copy it across if you want. A short form of this calculation is to actually use these factors. So I could just as easily say, take the 730, and multiply it, sorry, I'll just put my dollar signs in there, and multiply it by South African inflation factor divided by the US inflation factor. And what you'll see is when you copy it across, it gives you what the exchange rate should be to make everything equal. And obviously all these things and then be extended for as long as you need them.